Your story's team getting dozens of calls and emails about leaves dying and falling from trees across the area. Right now, it's supposed to happen in the fall, not now. Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel reached out to a SUNY ESF professor who says the disease is rare for this time of year. Leaves are turning black and brown, falling to the ground, and it's still summer. Anthracnose, it's a leaf disease that's caused by different fungi. And tar spot disease, it's another fungus cause. And they're driven by the, uh, the weather conditions. The combination of wet and cool weather months ago is what impacted the Norway maples. It's actually a common disease. It just doesn't usually show up this early. You don't normally notice it till September, October. Mm -hmm. So this is the earliest, I think, in 35 years that people have been emailing me and contacting me about, you know, and it's across the board and it's all, it's not just Syracuse, it's all over the state, it's all over the Northeast. And it won't go away, at least not this year. Uh, the uh, tree will lose its leaves this year. It looks like it's dying. Almost always they don't die. What does this mean for our fall? Well, so this, so the maples as a group are particularly affected by this, by these diseases, tar spot and anthracnose. The Norway maples typically turn a pretty yellow near Halloween, but you won't see that this fall. If the tree doesn't have leaves, it's not going to have much fall colors. But other trees, like the other maples that have those beautiful bright reds, those are okay? So the reds typically are red maple, and, and, and red maples are susceptible to the disease, but I haven't noticed any. I've got a big red maple in my yard, and uh, in fact, three, and those leaves look fine. Leaving us with plenty of brilliant colors to see in October. In Syracuse, Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.